This is my video to show my Land Rover Defender T90 hardtop project. Uh, so far, I've been able to do all the modifications or fabrications that are needed to do for the chassis, reducing the wheelbase, mounting the body. This is the body I have, which I received from eBay. And I cut the fenders as you can see uh, the default fenders of this body so that I can mount my original XEO SX10 TR fenders. Apart from that, I did some, I had to do something to mount this body on this chassis. I used some magnets, and on top of the magnets, I have a metal plate. On top of the metal plate, I have a uh, high industrial standard very strong velcro uh, the bottom of the velcro is attached to the metal plate and the top of the velcro will be attached to the under the hood under the bonnet from the rear side i just use some screws uh, to bolt on to the rear part of the chassis and those screws would be uh, screwing this part of the body I also use some magnets on the inside, on the left and right side of the rear end to fix the body to avoid any roll of the body due to uh, loose mounting. So now this thing mounts very perfectly and very strongly onto the chassis. So almost everything is done. I also had to cut uh, some parts of the in uh, inside of the interior you know, from underneath to remove any binding with either the gearbox or the spur gear underneath here or the motor over underneath over here and after doing all that now it fits perfectly on the chassis and now I can actually go on and start and try to run this for a few seconds I, what I also did was I uh, created a baffle box or a base tube for a small speaker you can see here and I attached the speaker to an electric chip here and this electric chip is connected in between the ESC and the receiver so the receiver uh, and cord goes into this chip and from this chip another uh, let's say receiver connecting raw, uh, wire goes into the ESC. What I am doing is I am trying to use or simulate Land Rover Defender TD5 5 cylinder diesel engine sound that I have configured or let's say programmed into this chip. I am going to start now to give you a demo. Let's start on the green mode. I'm using a Fortaba 4PK, 4PL, sorry, 4PL, 2.4 gigahertz radio. Now, now it's, I haven't given it any throttle, so you won't hear any sound of the engine. As soon as, as soon as I slightly touch my trigger on the radio, then it will start the engine. Now if I give it a bit of throttle, If I do not give it any trouble, after 20 seconds the engine will automatically stop. And 
then if I want to start the engine again, I can just give the slight push to the throttle stick without even moving the tire, just a slight touch and the engine will start. As you can see now the engine has stopped. Now I will start the engine again just by touching this throttle without even moving any tires. And if I do not give any throttle it will again uh, shut down. So if I start the engine and I move Then I, if I stop, then it will wait for 20 seconds. But if I do not move and I start the engine, it will shut down maybe in 5 seconds or so. So, tell me how you like it. I think the sound is pretty fine. I've configured it for a 5-cylinder diesel engine TD5 Land Rover Defender sound. I hope you guys like it. Let me know what you think.